Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the Litocode question single number. So this problem is simple, so there are many possible solutions. But we must solve this question with ON time and ON space. Given these constraints, we can't use data structures such as arrays, hash map, or sets. Without these data structures, it's impossible to keep track of multiple numbers that appear twice. In fact, I believe this is a problem that can be solved if you know the trick but it's very difficult if you don't. The key to the solution is using exclusive OR, I mean bitmap operation. So I will explain the four properties of exclusive OR one by one. Okay, property number one, same numbers exclusive OR to zero. The first property is that when you exclusive OR any number with itself, you get zero. So let me show you why. So let's say uh, we calculate five in binary, so that is a 1 on 1. And uh, we have another 5 and uh, 1 on 1. So we calculate 1 1 1 1. And uh, remember, so exclusive OR is like it's 1 when bits are different and 0 when they are same. So in this case, 1 and 1, so that means they are same, right? So 0. And 0 and 0, so they are same, 0. And 1 and 1, so they are same, 0. So that means 0, right? Property number two, exclusive OR with zero returns the original number. The second property, exclusive OR any number with zero gives you original number back. So let's see example. So we use five again. So, so binary should be one, zero, one, right? And uh, another number is zero. So that means zero, zero, zero. And we calculate. So one, zero should be, so they are different, right? So do you remember property one? So if they are different, we should put 1. And uh, next, 0 and 0, so they are same. In the case, we put 0 here, right? And then again, 1 and 0, they are different, so we put 1. So that means this is 5, right? So nothing changed. Property number 3, commutative property. Order doesn't matter. Exclusive OR is commutative, meaning order doesn't matter. So let me prove this with example. So we use 5 again, so binary should be 1, 0, 1. And we use 3, and the binary should be 0, 1, 1. So we calculate this. And 1 and 1, so they are same. We put 0 here. And 0 and 1, so they are different. We put 1 here, and 1 and 0, so they are different. So we put 1 here, so result should be 6, right? So let's swap position, like a 5 and 3. So 3 is a 0, 1, 1, and 5 is 1, 0, 1. So calculate this, and 1, 1, so we put 0 here. 1 and 0, we put 1 here. And 0 and 1, so we put a 1 here. So that means 6. And the results are the same, right? Property number 4, associative property. So grouping doesn't matter. Exclusive OR is also associative meaning how you group the operations doesn't matter. So let's see the examples. So let's say uh, 5 exclusive OR, 3 and exclusive OR, and 2. So in this case, first of all, we calculate like 5 and 3. So 1, 0, 1. So this is 5 and uh, 1, uh, 0, 1, 1. So this is uh, 3. So result should be um, 0, 1, 1, right? In this case, that is 6. And uh, 6 and uh, 2, we calculate 6 and 2, so 1, 1, 0, and uh, 1, uh, not, not 1, 0, um, 0, 1, 0, and uh, 0, 0, uh, 1, so that is 4, right? And uh, we change this formula, like, let's say 5 exclusive OR and 3 exclusive OR and 2, like this. So we calculate um, 3 and 2 are first. So 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1, 0. So that means, um, so they're different, 1, 0, 0, right? So that is 1. And then we have 5, right? So 0, 1, 1, and uh, 1, 0, 1. And the uh, result should be 0, 0, 1. So that is 4. So look at the list 4 and 4, they are same, right? Okay, now you already understood these four properties. 
to solve this question, we use these four properties. So let's see the example, like a two, one, two, three, one. So in the end, we will do like two exclusive OR, one exclusive OR, two exclusive OR, three exclusive OR, and one. And uh, look at the property three and the property four. So we have commutative property and associative properties. That means we can swap any position and uh, group the same number. So that means two exclusive OR and two, and the exclusive OR and the one, exclusive OR and the one, and the exclusive OR and three. And the next, so look at the um, property one, same number exclusive OR to zero. So that means this is a zero and the exclusive OR and uh, this is also zero and the exclusive OR and three. And uh, look at the property two, exclusive OR with zero return original. So we have two zero and the one three. So that means this return three, right? And uh, look at the original input. So two, one, two, three, one. So uh, we have only one, three, and uh, we return three. So it looks good. That is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, let's write the code. So programming is very easy. Just result equals zero. And uh, for n in nums, and then less exclusive or equal n, and then just return less. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time is O n, and the space is O one. And I'll show you other solutions because O n time and O one space is uh, just constraint for it code. In the other interview, it's a good idea to have multiple solutions. So let's begin. Okay, let's write the code. Actually, this is a one-liner. So return to multiply sum, and we create a unique element. So set and nums minus sum and nums. So actually, that's it. So what I'm trying to do is that, so let's say original input is two, one, two, three, one. So in that case, first of all, create a unique element, just two, one, three, right? And then we use some function. So total should be six, multiply two. So that means 12, right? So um, when we use set, so we will get two, one, three, right? And a total six. So that means 12 includes like each number twice, right? So one, one, two, two, three, three. So this total should be 12, right? Six, four, two, yeah, 12. And uh, look at the second sum, sum and the original nums. And uh, we know that um, the original uh, input array has like a, um, only one element appear once, right? So that means this one. So let me sort um, original input. So one and one, two, two, and three. So all we have to do is just total of this element minus total of this element. So it's obvious, right? So uh, answer is three. And I look at the original input array, and uh, only three appear once, right? Looks good. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time is O n, and the space is O n. Okay, let's move on another solution. Okay, next solution is sorting solution. So let's begin. So first of all, if length of nums equal one, in that case we can return num zero. Right? And after that, so nums.salt. And then first of all, um, check first element. So if nums0 is not equal nums1. In that case, nums0 number should be unique, right? So return nums0. If not the case, so 
check middle elements. So for i in range and uh, start from index one to length of nums and uh, minus one. So this minus one is for like a uh, preventing like out of bounds. And if nums i current number is not equal nums i minus one and uh, nums i current number is different from next number so nums and uh, i plus one so in that case return nums i and then at last check last element so if nums minus one is not equal nums minus two in that case just return nums minus one i think that's it yeah looks good and the time is order of n log n because we use sort function and the space is um, order of sort so it depends on um, language you use so in Python, uh, sorting algorithm usually use like a team sort, which is a ON space. Okay, let's see the last solution, hash map. Okay, let's write the code. First of all, create a hash map. Okay, let's write the code. First of all, create a hash map. Let's say counter. And then, so count each number. So for num, num in nums. And then counter and the key should be num equal counter dot get and the key should be num and the default value is zero and then every time we find a new number so we should add plus one and then after that so let's find the number with frequency one so for num and a freak in counter dot items and then if freak equal one in the case just return num yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time is on and the space is also on so actually i have uh, more solutions but uh, let me stop here and if you have another idea, so leave a comment in the description below. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.